Good morning, everybody, and this is your DAX day trade setups for today. So still no real movement. We ended up with a bit of a range bar here as well um, on Friday. So that's an eight-hour range bar that we have. Uh, nothing really, nothing really happening right now. We are still sideways as far as I'm concerned, and uh, you can see this uh, bottom of the channel is still being. Um, adhered to so that's 14387 there but as i said last week i think we need to start looking at this as a range so um nothing really you can see on the three hour there's nothing really on the hour either apart from big down big up big confusion and you can see this gap up that we had during the trading session during the, the european trading session was always going to come back and fill it so that's exactly what happened very difficult to to trade this thing right now so we're looking for some kind of structure and the problem that we have is a bit of diversions forming here on the dax so i am a little bit uh, skeptical about continuing to the upside so obviously we only want to be jumping in short once uh, we have structure a break to the downside and uh, that's the first one. There's 14,438. If we do get above 14,577 and we build a base there, then there's a good possibility that we do continue to the upside. But for me at the moment, this is range bound. Uh, there's nothing really that I want to be trading here at the moment. You know, Dow Jones looks a little bit stronger than this and offers a better opportunity to trade it. Uh, and surprising me because the euro is sort of on a tear at the moment. So, yeah, for the DAX, I'm sitting on hands. I don't think I want to get involved in this just yet. And uh, it's been like that for a couple of days now because we've just been moving sideways. The only positive thing that I see here for the bulls is that moving averages, prices above the moving averages, and we're pointing up ever so slightly. Um, could be a separation of the oscillators forming here for a crossover. So... Pay attention to this. You may get a break of 14.577 and a pullback. That would give us an opportunity to buy. And uh, you look for your stop right below the structure. And then your target is pretty much going to be around 200 points to the upside. So that's the only, only bit of structure that I can see at the moment. And uh, you'd be... Be wise to pay attention to any shorts as well because uh, the way I see it is we're going to need a crossover of the moving averages, then a pullback to reject uh, 14,500. If we reject 14,500, then you can expect to move all the way back down here to 14,438. So pay attention to both, it's, um, but I'd keep my position size small or keep your money in your pocket, one of the two. But you need to preserve capital because there's no guarantee of anything at the moment. Anyway, that's my view for today. Pretty much a sit-on-hands view. Hope it helps, and I will catch up with you tomorrow morning. Cheers for now.